Hey everyone, time for video three. Now about that last video, that was botched. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. I did test shots, they all looked fine. When I uploaded it, cut off right here. Don't know why. I changed some things in my camera um, without really changing the focal length too much. I'm gonna see if it works. Hopefully it does. I didn't wanna reshoot the last video because I just thought it would come across as rehearsed. Just like with the reviews, it would feel hollow. I feel as though it would feel hollow if I just came out back out here and said all the same things over again. Because I really feel like this style is working. I just come out, say whatever comes to me. Um, I even considered switching over to this lens, the, the 16 millimeter that I wasn't, I wasn't too kind to in the last video, but that didn't work, so, so I can continue to have a love-hate relationship with it. So if you watched the entire last video, thanks for bearing with me on it because it, it was it was pretty painful to edit that a lot of the time. I was not having a fun time watching it, but I, I felt as though the dialogue came across as natural. So, sorry if it seems like I'm talking like really fast. I had like three coffees and then an energy drink. Feeling pretty awake right now. Might not blink much either for this video. Now at the end of the other video, I said I was gonna do some uh, light painting stuff and some rainy day stuff the following day, but the rain started early, and it did not let up. It was, the next day I did not want to go out even with the reindeer. It was pretty intense. So I didn't get to do any of that. But tonight I'm going to head out to do some sunset stuff. I'm not really sure where. I think I'm going to go to Arts Nursery in Port Kells. Just when I was driving by the other day, I noticed uh, the mountains through the trees. And wow. So Arts Nursery, nice and low down. And, the, and with the trees all around, it magnifies the light. It'll make those mountains look really nice. I'm hoping, you know, at sunset, put some like purple and orange and, and all sorts of other colors onto the mountains. You know, make it look dramatic. And looking outside, it looks like there's just the perfect amount of clouds. Uh, you don't want no clouds. So sunny day, perfect amount of clouds, good vantage point. And then after that, I think I'm gonna try to get some light trails, you know, do some like traffic, traffic light trails. And after that, if I still have energy, which I probably will after all the caffeine, then I'm gonna go back to that little bridge and do some light painting. And that should all make it into this video. And when I go to the nursery, I'm probably not gonna be uh, doing any like vlog style stuff at all. I'll most likely just dub over it or just put some music in. That's always nice. Music and pictures. microphone so the sound is gonna be terrible and there's cars driving over me so that's not gonna make anything much better so arts nursery didn't really uh, the weather didn't really comply a bunch of uh, clouds came rolling in from over the, over the top of the mountains ruined pretty much any shot I would have got so I thought I'd just show you the where I'm gonna light paint tonight
So those were pretty cool, got some pretty neat results. And I would know, because this totally isn't filmed before I went out and took photos or anything. So thank you for watching my uh, uh, third video now. Eventually I'll stop mentioning which number the video is because it won't matter anymore, but right now, still video three. So, thanks for watching video three. Check me out on Facebook at R James White Photography, on Instagram at Parrot Point Creative. Oh, and I also have to say a huge thank you to my friend Libby, who actually recommended some WD-40 for fabric, like I mentioned in the first video. I, I haven't gone out and gotten any. It needs some tightening up too, so. Thanks, Libby! But I think I'll toss it to me out in the field for the last few seconds of the video. Cue outro. <laughs>